All right, everybody, welcome back. This is Roy McQueen from NC Tech Lucians. And yes, 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 congratulations because you made it through the first half of the tutorial series. And this is, you know, you was quickly introduced to PhoneGap 3.4 in the very beginning of the series. And then we jumped into jQuery Mobile. So now for the second half, we're going to take a look at how PhoneGap gives you access to some of the some of the device's native features. Something that you can't do with just building a regular web app. And if you've been following along from the very first video, we're still building on our reference app that just demos the features. And if you're not, if you're just tuning in, uh, you should still be able to follow along. So one of the new things in PhoneGap 3 is a revised plugin architecture. All of the previously core features like the camera, for example, are plug-in based now. So you'll need to add in what you want to use for your app. So first off, on our homepage menu, let's go ahead and uh, separate this into sections and create a button that will link to a separate jQuery mobile HTML page called camera.html. Let's just copy everything from our page 2.html that we created in a previous video and we're going to change a few things. We're going to copy everything from the page 2 and paste it over uh, into the camera.html. Then we're going to change a few things up. Now keep in mind that we will be doing the same thing for the next few examples. So I'm not going to show it. I'm just going to have it already set up when you tune in. I don't want to waste uh, I don't want to waste time, you know? So for those of you who are just tuning in once again and you don't know how to set up the jQuery mobile and PhoneGap page, then you need to go back and watch watch the whole series from the beginning. Okay, so before we jump right in, there is one thing that I want to fix uh, because we are getting an error and you know we want to go ahead and take care of this error real fast. So okay, since we started building this app from the Hello World example in the beginning, if you remember, we deleted a block of code in our index.html file. It looked like this. Not understanding what is being fired off at the time when we deleted it, it created an error. Okay, so now to get rid of this error, just go into your index.js and stop the call. So just do like I'm doing. We're just going to stop this call right here. Okay, once you get all set up, we're going to use the camera PhoneGap API to access the device's camera. As you scroll down a bit in the docs, it shows you how to install and remove this feature. And in PhoneGap 3, we're going to be using the command line interface to do this. Now this may not be very clear, but the docs show you what command to use to access this feature. But it only shows you for Cordova, 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 I think, I hope I said that right. Anyways, but it doesn't show you for PhoneGap. So, but if we just go to the command line interface page like so, and scroll down, we can find the right command for PhoneGap. Now the difference between Cordova and Cordova, yeah. Now the, now the difference between Cordova <laughs> and PhoneGap is PhoneGap is built on Apache Cordova. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Nothing else. It's just, it's built, uh, PhoneGap is, a, is built on uh, Cordova. Okay? So you can think of it as Apache Cordova as the engine that powers PhoneGap. Okay, so before we can install our plugins, we're gonna have to install a tool called JIT. No, either JIT or Git. No, yeah. We're gonna have to install a tool called Git. Man, I didn't drink my coffee this morning. Sorry, guys. So, um, I'm not gonna cover what this is. You can do that on your own time, but I'll show you how to install it to get you going. So, let's go ahead and head over to the website. <clears throat> we gotta, we, we're gonna have to download it and install it. So when, they, so when installing this, just leave all of the options as uh, default. So just click next, 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 and let everything install and do, you know, do what you got to do. 
And then once you get that installed, we have to add the bin location to our path, okay? The bin location of the newly installed Git, we have to go into that location and we need to add that to our path as a uh, environment variable. Okay, now after, JIT is, now after Git is installed, let's add the camera feature. And to do this, we need to run this command uh, from inside the root folder of our app. So go inside of your Android apps folder that we created in the very beginning of the video, in the very beginning of the series. You should have um, a folder that is that's called My App. Now this is also where the plugin folder is located at. Now just copy the location link uh, and open a command line and go ahead and shift over to that location and now what we want to do we want to run the command to install the camera API this command will automatically put all of the necessary files inside of your plugin folder for your app Now back inside Eclipse, if you already had Eclipse running, you might need to refresh your project, but you might not. So, um, but if you now look inside of your plugin folder, you should see the camera API that we just added, and also the source files needed for the Android platform, which contains the Java source code, which is uh, what's responsible for linking us, you know, uh, the layer of JavaScript and HTML linking us natively to the device's camera. Now, now, according to the API documentations for Android, we need to add the camera feature inside of our config file that's located inside the res slash XML uh, folder. And we need to add a permission also inside of the Android manifest file. So pay attention when adding this feature right here in the config file. This is very important. As you see, just by copying it directly from the docs, when we go to run this, we'll run into a class not found error. Now this is because if you look at the value of the feature and look at where the camera API folder structure, how it's, how it's structured, it doesn't match up. So we just need to add the extra folder name in that value so it can find the Java classes it's looking for. Next, open up the manifest and copy and paste the permission. Now in the docs they give you an example. Uh, let's scroll down and copy this example inside of our camera HTML, HTML file. Be sure to do it just like I'm doing it here. Now just a quick word of advice here for best practices you would normally want to put all of your JavaScript inside the you know in an external file like like maybe the index.js file you will want to put all your JavaScript in there or um, and then you want to include it 
you know, in the head tag of all your pages um, after the jQuery has been loaded. But I don't want to go ahead and complicate things here, so I'll just include the JavaScript inside of the content div uh, because it's important to remember also that uh, besides the first index page, everything outside of an external page won't get loaded into the DOM. So if we were to put the JavaScript inside of the head of this page, it wouldn't work. You know, when, once it loads up, it wouldn't work because it only it only brings in the body and not the head or anything like that. So uh, just do it like this and everything will work out fine. So now let's save everything and test it out. I'm gonna give you guys a little homework. If I were you, I would go over the camera API and get familiar with how it works. Yeah, and you know, watch this video again and um, just get familiar with it. And that's it for this video, guys. In the next one, we'll cover something else. So I don't know what we're gonna cover. We're gonna cover something else. But I'll see you then.